cleanly but cleverly socketed off the ground. After falling to the Saints earlier in the season by a sizeable 58 point margin, West Coast were keen for revenge for their rematch in round 10. But the capacity whacker crowd was soon silenced by Saints goal kicker Craig Devonport, who booted an astonishing five goals in the opening quarter. Devonport snaps and kicks his fifth. This is amazing. His opponent was West Coast's Troy Eugle. Oh, look, I, I just uh, remember Davenport, of course, uh, down the other end, um, just kicking goals. And I, I didn't really realise who it was on um, until, next you know, uh, Troy's next to me. And, and I said to him, I said, what are you doing down here? He said, oh, didn't you see, bro? He said, oh, I've had a few kicked on me. And I said, oh, OK. I said, that's fine. And uh, next you know, he started just having a purple patch. and. You know, he got going, which was great for sight. The decision to shift Eugle forward was pure genius as he proceeded to boot six goals and record a historical victory for the club. Just with Troy, he could take marks, high marks, uh, all sorts of marks in, uh, in forward that um, just did light the side. So um, to have him forward was just awesome. Yeah, I don't remember a lot about it. All I remember was we got uh, flogged early and, and obviously Boopy had a real bad one, but uh, managed to turn it around nicely after, uh, after half time and to kick five and a quarter and we just stormed home that night and uh, the crowd was just going nuts. Oh, that rings a bell. Davenport kicked those goals for St Kilda. He kicked six in the first half. Russell Jeffries broke my nose. I went off the field, came back on uh, after half time and um, booted a couple of goals because I was angry. And uh, after half time, I said, you ready to go? I said, yeah, I'm fine. So uh, out, out I went and um, yeah, helped kick a couple of goals. Troy went on to kick after having uh, quite a few kicked on him. He got swung forward and ended up kicking six in the second half himself. And one of our greatest ever comebacks down there at the Wacker. So yeah, certainly, uh, I'll remember that game for a long time.